if the algorithms are favoring a person who they don't support his arguments, because most of these virtual governments are more feminist, left, all that stuff, why do you think your messaging got so viral? Well, this is the interesting thing, because <clears throat> I didn't put a magic spell on the world. I'm not a magician. You're right. There's obviously a market for what I say. Every People talk about how I became the most viral person on the planet. I'll argue the point. Not only did I become the most viral person on the planet, I did it while being heavily shadow banned. They, they, they've known about me for a while. They've been trying to shut me up for a while. I've been shadow banned forever. So I became the most viral person on the planet with all the algorithms working against me. Unlike people like Logan who have all the algorithms working for them, against me. Because I'm resonating with people who are sitting there going, finally, this makes sense to me. This is how I feel inside. And this guy's finally talking about it. Everything else I consume is telling me to do things that just don't resonate with my truth. I'm only saying things that people agree with. So to chop my head off and try and delete me is asinine in and of itself because there are billions of people out there, millions of people out there who feel the exact same way. This is what I was saying earlier because, and once again, I'm assuming the social media companies have more have intellect and people who work for them who are intelligent. If they were smart, if I was a social media company, I would have come to me and said, listen, I would have had a board meeting and said, controlled opposition. And I would have come to me and said, Andrew, you have to create your message. Don't want to delete you. You don't want to be censored. You have to say this, this way, this, this way, today, and slowly perhaps taper me down on certain subjects. That would have been smart. You're saying what? if they would have come to you and said, Completely. listen, we've been following you, buddy. And, and, then I, and, and, I would, we'd like. and, and I would also talk to them and say, listen, I understand I'm now the most viral person on the planet. I have to take responsibility for the things I say. It's the way I say things for a video that gets 300 views is different than the way I say things for a video that gets 3 million views. I respect that. Let's have a conversation. I'm not a loose cannon. I'm a logical actor. They could have done that, but they were emotional. Instead, they martyred me and chopped my head off. But that doesn't change anything because there's millions and millions and millions of young men who think the same way I think. There are millions of young men out there who don't want to wear makeup, who don't want to put on a Pokemon suit and be a clown like Logan Paul, who don't want to take transgender blocking drugs, who don't want to uh, assign themselves to any kind of feminist ideas, their dick who don't off. want to chop their dick off, who just want to grow up, go to the gym, get strong, be respected, make money, have a beautiful girl in a sports car. There's millions of men who want that. And I speak to those men. And most they think, men want most that. Most men Andrew. want that. And they think by chopping my head off, those men are going to want something else because they'll get rid of me and they'll put James Charles in front of me and say, no, foundation reviews. It ain't going to work. They don't want foundation reviews. It's not what they want. And what's, it's, it, it's truly crazy. They think that's going to work in and of itself at all. You don't think it's going to work? I think I've been, I think I've proven that it's not going to work. What's actually the most upsetting is this. I find it extremely hypocritical. And of all the things in the world, my pet peeves, the things that annoy me most are hypocrites. I find it extremely hypocritical that the system itself pretends it gives a shit about men's mental health. It will sit there and pretend it cares about all the men out there who are depressed, struggling, sad. But when I come along and tell them the only way I've ever found personally to be happy and contented, because I can only talk my personal story, is to become a man of status, to become successful, to go through pain, to use my trauma, to use the bad things that happened to me, to galvanize myself against attacks from the matrix, as I've just proven I can easily weather. When I talk about men's mental health, they delete me. I thought you gave a shit about men's mental health. I'm the most popular man on the planet and 90% of my content is not even about women. It's motivational and antidepressive. And you're gonna sit here and delete me saying that I'm bad for women. What about men? I thought you gave a shit. All of a sudden you don't give a fuck anymore, right? Just delete him, who cares? I had a man message me, a man emailed me saying that he was gonna kill himself. I get about 10,000 emails a week. I don't answer all of them, but I answer some of them. This guy, his email was so short that I believed it. Subject was, I'm gonna kill myself. And the thing is, I know you won't reply. I'm gonna kill myself. I don't know what to do. That was the email. And I sat there and said, listen, my friend, I get a lot of emails. I don't know how serious you are. I want you to make me a promise. I'm gonna guess that you're not in the best physical condition you could be in. I want you to make me a promise that you're gonna get a six pack first and send me a picture of you with a six pack. If you still feel like killing yourself after that, I don't know you, I can't tell you what to do, but I want you to get a six pack first. Email me back, we start going back and forth, et cetera, et cetera. I convinced him to get the gym and said, get a six pack, see how you feel. If you still feel like killing yourself, then I'm not telling you to kill yourself, I'm telling you that's what I would recommend. Start training. By the time he started sending me physique updates of him in a better condition, he started sending me huge emails of apology and thank you saying you saved my life. I can't believe I was thinking of killing myself. You can't believe he changed. If that man would have emailed Logan Paul, would Logan Paul have given a fuck? He would have ignored the guy. You think he answers a single fucking email? He doesn't give a shit. 
all these fucking media figures, all these people who are good for the system, who are dancing on the devil and fucking sitting here talking about dangerous rhetoric and all the other bullshit. You think they'd fucking answer an email? They don't give a solitary fuck about the young men of the world. They would have left that man to die. And even if they would reply to him, what advice would they give? Go take antidepressants and watch my YouTube. They have no value to give a guy because they've never had a life of actual genuine struggle. I'm out here genuinely saving lives, genuinely saying to men, the world you now live in is so competitive that if you're not a competitive male, you're going to be perma-depressed. You don't have a mental disease. You're just in a competitive environment and you are losing. You need to become a competitive person. There's no easy way. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna suck. But if you get to talk G, the name, if you get there, it's a life worth living. That's what I'm saying. And then millions of young men are going, wow, he's showing that you can be born from nothing, single parent on a fucking council estate in the worst town in England, be stabbed, come from nothing, and survive and end up with a, a multi-millionaire. Uh, maybe I can do it if I work hard and I'm diligent and I try hard and I'm really giving hope to the world. And then they delete me. Then they put up a new thing about men's mental health saying which pill they should take. And then they put James Charles of on the algorithm. This shit's evil. It's, it's, it's genuinely criminal. I am nothing but a positive force for the world. And this is what I was talking earlier about the hero's arc and the arc and the, and the redemption, because I think that inside of human consciousness, people are very, very familiar with the idea of, of the arc of a villain turning into a hero. It's in the Bible. It's in every superhero movie. The guy starts off bad. He's crazy. He's too bad. We don't want him. He's a maverick. He can't control him, blah, blah, blah. But towards the end, you're like, where's Batman? Where's Batman at? And it's going to take a matter of time before people realize, you know what? Tate was actually a good force for the youth. Perhaps he needs to create his message. Perhaps he needs to take his newfound fame on board and change the way he says certain things. Agreed, I'm not infallible as an individual. But to sit here and say I'm dangerous and I must be deleted is disservice to all the men of the world. And then they're just gonna start printing articles talking about men's mental health. They don't give a fuck about men. They don't give a shit about the 18 year old boy out there who can't get a girlfriend who's genuinely lonely and the fucking sports stars fucking them all. I'm telling him what he has to do. I'm saying, listen, bro, of course the sports stars fucking them all. He's a G, you ain't shit. If you were a chick, would you choose you? Because I fucking wouldn't. So whose fault is that? The best thing about being a man, the best thing about being a man is you get to build your character from the ground up. You're not born with any value. You're born as a blank slate. I decided I wanted to be a big, toting, kickboxing, Bugatti driving fucking bad boy. I did it all myself. You get to choose you want to be a musician and be sensitive and play guitar and get a map and be, and be important that way. You get to choose you want to go get in the cage and kick the fuck out of somebody. You get to be, choose to be anything you want, but you have to go and do it. It's going to be difficult because it's competitive. But that's the beauty of being a man, the blank slate. And I inspire men to look at themselves as a blank slate and go, you know what? I ain't shit now, but I can become anything I want. How could I possibly give up on myself? And then they delete me. And then they say, we care about men's mental health. They don't give a fuck. They're lying. This is what they say um, that women are and men must become. Completely true. Right? I mean, it's because a man, you talk about, there's nothing worse than being born rich and then just be, being rich. Oh, absolutely. The, the beauty is being fucking dirt poor and becoming rich. Completely. And all three of us sitting here have dealt through that. A man Completely. has to have tenacity and go through struggles and days where you're like, I can't fucking do this anymore, but still pop your head up the next day and be like, all right, let me go back and get back in the gym. I say this, tenacity. I say this all the time. I say the best things that ever happened to me are the worst things that ever happened to me. All the trauma and bullshit I've been through in my life are the best things that ever happened to me. Because as a man, if you've not had a difficult life, you cannot be good at being a man. Being a good man and being good at being a man, they're two slightly different things. But to be good at being a man, you need to be have been through so much shit that when the Matrix deletes your entire life from the internet and starts lying about you at mass, and people start doing protests wanting you fucking hung, and they're looking for your family members, and reporters start calling every ex-girlfriend you've ever had trying to convince them and bribe them to lie, to come out and say you're something you're not, when they're genuinely out to put you in jail, that you can sit there and be focused and stoic enough to go, you know what, okay, what's the chessboard? What's gonna happen? Who's trying to shoot me right now? Nobody. Okay, so it's better than it was a couple years ago. Okay, so X, Y, Z, and plan through it, right? You're never gonna be capable as a man if you've not had trauma. The best men ever have had trauma. If you call a police officer, you need a brave police officer. He ain't gonna be brave unless he's been through shit. Yeah. He's not gonna be brave unless he's been through shit. So we also, as a society, sit and, and, and look at men and go, we want, well, there's two kinds of society, the matrix society, but the true society, the true women with a the brain, they actually, I want a man who's strong, who's supportive, who's intelligent, who financially provides, etc. Then you're gonna want a man to some degree who's been through some shit. Yeah. And a man who's internalized it and used it as a weapon. And this is what I say to people. People email me their long lists of all the bad things that happened to them. And I reply, fantastic. 
You are so lucky. You have all the building blocks to become the exact kind of man you want to be. If none of this shit happened to you, when something else bad happens to you later, you wouldn't be able to deal with it. Fantastic. And he goes, no, but you know, this, this, he replied again with more excuses. Said, why are you making excuses? I just told you what happened to you is a good thing. You need to reframe your mind. Bad things happen to Batman. They killed his parents. Do you understand? That's why he's Batman. You've just told me you have the building blocks to become the most, you might become top G when I retire. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> what are you complaining about? He goes, well, what do I do? I said, you need to work. Take all that trauma. If you're truly heartbroken, my friend, and we've all been there as men, if you're truly heartbroken, you can't sleep. That means you're gonna get in fantastic yes. shape. You better hit the gym. You have nothing else to do. Stop watching YouTube. Stop emailing me. I want pictures of you in the gym. Get the fucking work. Heartbreak's a fantastic motivator, as is depression, as is sadness. Great. Look at what's pissing you off and make sure it never happens again. If you were jacked and rich as fuck, she probably wouldn't have left your ass. So get your shit together. Right? So this is so important. Trauma is such an important part of being a man. And, and the Matrix talks of trying to say that trauma is terrible and avoid trauma, or if you get trauma, take a pill, and, da, and, and that's unrealistic. Trauma is going to happen to you, and you, you as a man need to internalize it, accept it, and weaponize it to become the best version of yourself you can be. And that requires mental strength and stoicism. It does not require, oh, and be more emotional. If you're more emotional, you're going to fall apart when shit happens. You're going to end up like Logan Paul, crying your eyes out on TV like a bitch. I imagine there's a lot of uh, men that hate you because they have not done anything with their lives. Oh. And you're basically saying, clean it up, buddy. Get it together, hit the gym, make something in your life. It's interesting. And they want to get rich quick. They want the easy way out. And they probably hate you more than feminists. It's interesting. The men who support me online have their shit together. The men who hate me are fat. The men who've done the takedown videos of me are objectively, objectively unattractive individuals. I'm not trying to be insulted. Just objectively obese, unattractive individuals, right? People who don't have their life together. It's the same even more with women. You can find 10 women who are sticking up for me, supporting me, they're all beauty queens. And then you find some girl sitting there, some troll sitting in the corner, Andrew's bad for women. You know, so there's a lot to be said there, right? And hate always comes from below, it never comes from above. The people who have their lives together, whether male or female, love me. The people who have failed and they know that the failure is their own fault and I show I'm a good mirror, I reflect their own failures at them. Oh yeah, of course they hate me. And that's what's happened here. What's most upsetting is as follows. This whole idea of protecting women and misogyny has been weaponized to attack someone they don't like. These people saying that we need to get him down to he's a misogynist, they don't give a fuck about women, these people. You think they care? There's some fat troll. There's some dude called Daz who made a takedown video of me who just came out, came out actually on my last podcast. Turns out he was talking to a 13 year old girl. So he's a fat pedophile. So there's a fat, fat pedophile who did a video on YouTube about me saying that I'm dangerous for women, got 10 million hits because he's objectively unattractive, saying that he cares about women, but he's a pedophile himself. He doesn't care about women. He's jealous of me. He's jealous of who I am and my lifestyle. So he's found something he can use to weaponize. If he can't make up that bullshit and attack me, how else can he attack me? Can't call me broke. Can't call me dumb. Can't call me stupid. Like, what can he call me? Well, he's better than me at everything, but if I take this and pretend to give a shit, he doesn't give a fuck. I build orphanages in Romania. I, I, have, a, I have a charity that rescues stray dogs. I, I take time out of my life replying to emails, saving people from suicide. What the fuck does this guy do for anybody? Nothing. But he's the good person because he gives a shit? No. He's using it as a vehicle to attack somebody who he knows is his superior and every single human metric that can be measured by modern science. And he dislikes me for it. All of this is just weaponized care. Oh, we, we care so much about, they don't care about fucking anything. They don't care about people. They just dislike me. And that's a very different thing. It's all been false from the beginning. I've seen through it all from the absolute beginning. It's a matrix attack. And like I said, it's, I told you how it happened. YouTube strike, meta, YouTube, media, 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 Uber, Gmail, Discord, Skype, Twitch, boom, 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 boom. It's all a fucking coordinated hit piece. It's bullshit.